All right, it is 7 o'clock on a Tuesday night, so it is time once again for more Quest for Glory. We are back with more Quest for Glory 2, and I think we have everything we need to finish this one today, uh, which is very exciting to me that we're going to finally wrap this up um, because, I, boy, I forgot how much longer this one can be than the first one uh, when all of the events are triggered to go off on a specific schedule rather than just when I happen to come across them. So, but that's okay. So that's okay. Because what we are going to do is we're going to wrap up things here in lovely Shapir. We are going to move on to a uh, terrifying sounding Razir and we are going to set things right. We, we, let's see, what have we accomplished so far? We know that the four elementals that Omar warned us about have been dealt with. They're in my possession, except the Earth Elemental, which I gave away to a tree to make her feel better. The uh, We've located the missing Emir of Razir, who's actually in Shapir, and he's been a Saurus, my Saurus, the whole time. The odds of that seem astronomical, but we're not going to go down that road. Uh, so he's safe. He's with the, the lovely Aziza. And... All of Shapir loves me, and the cat think I'm great, and I am filthy rich because I've helped myself to a few loose coins along the way with a couple of misadventures uh, in the process. But that's that's not important. What matters now is we are loaded for bear. We've got cash. We've got equipment. We are fit uh, as an adventurer, and we're ready to proceed. So I think tonight's the night. We're going to do it. Uh, a cake so dapper tonight. Thank you very much. This is a, a celebration, one, of finishing uh, questions for glory but two um i have never fit into this shirt before not once since it was given to me probably five years ago and today it fits so if it fits i wear it um and since the lighting in here is not great because you know what kind of budget i'm working on here about this much uh it's a lovely like sea foam teal it's so a little white tie help make it pop and uh feeling good feeling like we're gonna adventure so here we go. Let us get going. All right. And on the stream, there is a uh, there is a new poll uh, that you should be able to click on. There's a little uh, pop out that should be somewhere around my face. Um, there's a little poll. People can weigh in on what I should play after this, whether I should continue with Quest for Glory or um, switch and do something historical. Uh, for right now, I, I will say I'm planning a surprise for uh, the start of July, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It's pretty important dates historically, so I've got a couple games that I'll be doing off schedule for those. But in the meantime, for my normal weekly schedule, uh, you can weigh in on what we do after this. So, all right. All right, let's get back to it. Is everything, I think all, everything is situated. No idea where the cats are. They'll probably come see us at some point. Maybe we can finally make Lily a star, because so far all we've had is Sheldon come and see us. Not that he's not lovely, but, you know, I do have two cats. You would never know that. Okay, so let's see here. Weapon use is looking good. Dodge is high. Stealth is high. Okay. Climbing and throwing could really use a bit of extra work, but it's okay. Agility is maxed. That's just beautiful. I love that. Vitality is up. My luck is up. So it's just see here today's the, i think the last day right it's day 16 oh gosh this is it my last day to work on my skills get ready for the terribleness that is razir 18 daggers oh oh wow weight carried is almost at my max load jeesh Well, to be fair, I did steal a bunch of tackers from that one guy, and I have a water, a leather skin. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can, uh... <laughs> right, I'm practically carrying my full capacity here. Um, what was it that uh, Lee Grainer once said? Nothing encumbers a game like an encumbrance system, but, all right, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be a good way to kill some time. Finish my sneaking around. I'll probably go spar with Uhura one more time, which reminds me i got to turn my numlock off or else I'm not going to be doing anything. Ah. Mm -mm. So yesterday... No, yesterday I took the day off. Um, 
from riding. But uh, Sunday, to cap off something like five days in a row on the bike, I went up to the Saratoga Battlefield, which is an absolutely lovely uh, park. And I rode that trail twice, uh, two times around, uh, 24 miles, uh, only took me two hours, which was, uh, good. And, uh, legs were absolutely shot yesterday, but that's okay because, uh, it was worth it. It was a beautiful day. Ah, do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Turn around. Saw some lovely nature last night out walking. There's apparently nothing but muskrats that live in the uh, nature preserve near us. Muskrats and great blue herons. So, you know, some fun stuff. Looks like he's selling leather boots. I could probably do it with a pair of boots. I got these weird pointed shoes that curl up at the end. Those can't be comfortable. All right, what if we... Oh, oh gosh, I missed it. I missed it. What if we hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 You're going too fast. This mouse, I always forget this mouse feels sluggish to me. So, hero, not being content with having merely saved the city, I see that you are about to attempt to save the land of Shapir as well. When first we met, I could feel there was dark within you. Now I can see that the light is stronger, if you will only let it be so. It is a narrow path between darkness and light, and you will always walk that tightrope in your soul. Yeah, because I'm a hero who steals. That's, uh, that's just how it is. The journey you are about to make is to a very dark and dangerous place. The foe you will face is very powerful in the ways of magic. M magic! Be wary and alert, for you will be surrounded by enemies. Yet trust your instincts, my friend, for you may still make allies by your actions. All of us in this city will be hoping for your safety, for all know of the seriousness of your mission. May fortune smile upon you, Devon. Keep your weapon handy, hero, and don't let your enemies get you. You and I maybe practice some more when you get back. Daw, aren't you guys sweet? It is good to see you, young hero. Nice day for adventuring. Farewell, young hero. Da, 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 da. Let's walk normally. Let's rest up a little bit. Spend an hour swapping stories. And then we fight! Hmm. Hold on. Everyone's got to walk into the room one at a time. Because that's just, you know, how it goes. <laughs> there comes Rakesh. Okay. I'm sorry, I love the art of fighting with a dagger. Ah, it's a shame. If you play as the he fighter, you get to challenge him on the last day, but... I guess I'll settle for beating up on Uhura again. Although, for the most part, she has shown me what's what. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's sluggish. What's going on? I think I know what's happening. <laughs> there was a Windows update, and uh, I think it reset one of my settings. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is like this is like pulling teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the slowest fight ever. It's so sluggish. Haha. <laughs> This is unbearable. I'll have to fix this. This is so slow. Oh. Alright, counterattack. Get her. Side step, side step. Haha! Gotcha! Gosh, this is so bad. Why is it so slow? Haha! <laughs> this fight is gonna last the entire stream. <laughs> this is so slow. Oh, oh, oh! Haha! -ha, Counterattack! Nope, that didn't work. Ooh, critical! The slowest critical hit ever. <laughs> this is so slow. <laughs> Ugh.
<laughs> busy sidestep and don't mind me. Do -do 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 -do. Critical strike. Down goes Uhura. Oh my gosh, they gotta fix this. This is so bad. Oh, oh boy. Counterattack. Nope. Ha ha! <laughs> oh. Uh, this is what I get for installing a Windows update. I should always know better. Slow, slow, slow your boat. Oh gosh, oh no. She's gonna get me. Aha! Oh, gosh. I double checked. I, I knew last time I had a Windows update, it resetted my sound, and I had to, uh, had to check that. And I did. Forgot to check that it would change this setting, so. Ah. It reset my sound. Let's see here. All right. There we go. Ha-ha! Good, 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 good. All right. Oh my gosh, the slowest animation. You're a very fast learner. I think maybe you'll be plenty tough enough now. Thank you. That's good to know. Oh my gosh. Did I do that on purpose? All right, there we go. Game speed. That feels better, but still feels a touch slow to me. <laughs> Wait, I'm, now I'm having like a weird moment. Did I purposely turn it down last time? Was there something I was doing that made me slow it down? Oh, this is what happens when I only stream once a week. I don't remember things very well. <laughs> Mm, all right, nothing to see here. Ooh, jewelry. Ooh, greetings, hero of Shapir. My name is Kadash. I have gold rings for sale that can be engraved with a personal message of your choice. The message appears when the metal is heated. So it's the one ring? All right. Farewell, Effendi. Come again. Hmm. All right, here we go. Coming along. Sullen Darb. Why are all the doors so far away? They're like halfway down the hallway. Just give me one close by. I can practice some lock picking before I move on with my day. I really should practice some climbing, but yeah, what are you going to do? Oh my gosh, like all the doors are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I should try that on a different door. You're right, I should. Give, oh, there we go. Give me a closer door and I will. Nope, not open door. Pick lock. Got some useful lock picking. Yeah, I did. Useful lock picking. Grind out your lock picking skill. Gonna get a little more lock picking. Because this is good for me, because you never know when I'm gonna need some. And unfortunately, my skill is not very high. It's barely higher than the max it could have been in uh, Spielberg, which is uh, embarrassing for me. I, I should know better. Hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, nobody's weighed in on the poll yet. That's okay. Ooh, I have 123 credit hours. 
Seems like a lot. Maybe I'm giving them out too easy. Oh, I'm so exhausted that everything hurts. Better rest. After an hour's rest, I feel better. Let me get an actual real hour's rest here. Build myself back up. What I should do. There we go. So the fourth game had full voice acting. Um, and now I can't not hear those phrases. You know, after an hour's rest, you feel better in the voices from the fourth game. Like they're just stuck in my head that way. The poet Omar will thrill all who will hear his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. Yes, I did remember that. Thank you. I'm trying to remember if they gave me a... The caravan to Razir will leave with the dawn of tomorrow's sun, hero. Thank you. I think his name... One, none of the sources here belong to you. You left your old source at Aziz's house. Ah, I was really hoping they gave me a spare for the day so that I could go out into the desert and do stuff. It's fine. I'm going to go pick up a couple rocks, and I'm going to throw those rocks at things. Grab a handful of rocks. Oh, I'm carrying more than I can handle. So let's throw some rocks. I'm no longer overloaded. That's a load off my mind. Grab a handful of rocks. Yeah, I'm carrying more than I can handle. Ah, I'm no longer overloaded. What a load off my mind. Grind out a little bit of throwing skill. Grab a handful of rocks. I try and fling one into the city. No longer overloaded. Midday. Not bad. Not bad. We've oh wow, we've we've pushed up some skills here. Throwing's higher. Dodge and weapon use are a lot better. Okay, that's all looking good. Let's uh grab a handful of rocks. Fling around a couple rocks. Grab a handful of rocks. Hmm. This is good uh, weightlifting. I mean, you know, since ever since they closed the Shapir gym uh, due to concerns of the plague, you just, you know, you find your exercise where you can. Some people go outside and throw rocks. It's, uh, it's good. Builds up your shoulders, back muscles. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a quality workout right here. Hmm, no longer overloaded. That's a load off my mind. Okay. Okay. A little more strength, a little more throwing skill. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, I might just go sleep till the night. Waiting for the night because I want to hear what the poet has to say. Most likely, it's going to be more cryptic clues about my trip to uh, Razir. Since he did accurately predict all the uh, elementals that were going to attack me. The caravan to Razir! Oh, I already told you this. <laughs> Alright, fine. You deserve another coin. The musician nods and smiles as he plays. Uh, sleep until evening. Gosh, not sleep until morning. If I click that, I have to reload the save. I have to do that all over again. Let's go here. Hmm. Sun goes down, and the poets come out. And they all go to Shemin's. The poet will soon speak if you will be but seated. If you will but be seated. The Sultan of Shapir has now decreed that this hero is a hero here indeed, for actions fundamental in dispelling elementals, a reward for he who freed us all. 
from the Sultan Harun al Rashid, may he reign forever. We present thee with this purse for thy services, most brave and daring against the elementals of earth and water. A hundred dinars! Oh my gosh, why did I even have to steal? I mean, they're just handing me money. That's like 420 dinars. I, I don't think I've ever had that much. Ah, oh, what a life. In the month of the serpent, in the year of the spear, darkness passed over the town of Razir, and the rumor had been said the old emir was dead, for Al Aras al-Din had seemed to disappear. The emir had a brother who quickly took the throne, but the shadow lurking under soon was known, for the Kata were exiled, and Razir was then defiled by the rules and regulations that were shown. The Sultan sent his men to restore Razir to right, but they did not even have a chance to fight, for as they crossed the land, a tremendous storm of sand forced his forces to retreat from their plight. So now the rumors told of the city of Razir, that the darkness shadows everything in fear, and he that now does rule has the emir as his tool, disobedience brings punishment severe. Well, that third clause was a little tough to work through. The moral of this story, as the best of tales must tell, of the horrors of the orders that befell, is the simple corollary that the hero must be wary ere he journeys to that shadow citadel, and we bid him luck and wish him to farewell. Mm. No, poet, fare forward. Oh, as you travel to Razir, Devon, know that all of us in Shapir wish for your safety and the success of your mission. Oh, so he is capable of talking like a normal person. Ah, uh, Shima got a break from the kitchen. You are carrying more than you can handle. Wait, what? I am. Oh, right. All that money. 419 dinars. <laughs> Way more money than I need. Um, okay, well, that's a problem, because I don't know what to leave behind. I've got my clay filled with dirt, uh, got my cloth bag, the powder of burning, I got my elementals in a bag, elementals in a lamp, I got the spell potions, I got the key to the inn, I got a reed basket, I probably could leave some of this behind, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need it all. Uh, with whom am I trying to speak? Sheba will be with you shortly with one of her splendid meals. All right, that's right. Get some dinner. Let's get some dinner in me. <sighs> I'm carrying so much money that I actually am overburdened. Lamb falafels and soured cream along with a rabbit curry are part of the meal for tonight. May it do you good. Thank you, Shima. Goodbye, Shima. You have a wonderful meal. Da -da -da. My strenuous regimen keeps me from looking as round as Abdullah. Poor Abdullah. He's not even here and we're fat shaming him. Oh. What on earth is with this walking animation? Oh, gosh. Quick, I clicked the wrong thing. I clicked the wrong thing. Ah! How long is this? Oh, my gosh. Many forget the polite thing to do. Greetings too often. I give him my few. The poet Omar is honored. You are most welcome, hero who came here. May you always be welcome in Shapir. Okay, so those those have not changed. Do you have anything new to tell me about? The dark has touched her and has turned aside all things of light that once did there abide. Razir is left to crumble in despair. Thus wickedness and folly now reside. Uh, but in the doer's arrogance and pride, the light grows ever stronger now outside. A hero strikes to force the darkness back, and into morning shall be Razir's guide. The city of Razir has been overcome by darkness, yet, yet there shall be a hero to return her to the light. That would be me. Okay. Yeah, nothing new here, so I will just say goodbye. The words of departure are what I do here. Farewell to the next time you lend me your ear. Farewell, hero. All right, so here we go. Oh, this is just intolerable. 
what on earth happened to the game speed with this update? It's like killing me. All right, all right, all right. Let me uh, let me try saving. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Thief sixty. Okay, and let me see if I can fix this because before I move on and get to Razier, I have got to uh, I have got to fix this game speed or I'm gonna go insane. So I will be right back. <laughs> All right, uh, an unusual Wednesday night stream, and that's okay because we are trying to finish Quest for Glory 2, and we're picking up right where we left off, and uh, for if you were one of the select few who was with us on Tuesday, you'll remember that the game was moving agonizingly slow, and then uh, in my efforts to fix it, I crashed my computer twice, so... Part of the problem that we have figured out is that I am heavily overburdened as Devin the Thief. My guy is just carrying way too much. I've stolen so much money. I have way too many daggers. Um, this is what trunks were created for. So it is time to ditch things that I just don't need. Put the flowers into your storage chest. Promise yourself to take them out again before they wither. I've been carrying them for days. I think they'll be fine. Don't need that. The cloth bag. Ooh, I definitely need my rope. Um, I store the pot of dirt. I can't imagine why I would need it. I already uh, used the burning powder on the earth elemental, so let's get rid of that. I'm not going to need the key to uh, the inn anymore. I'm not going to need this basket I bought for some reason probably going to need the water elemental because I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I'm going to need the lamp because I haven't had a chance to use that yet. I've already used the air elemental in the bellows. I feel like I'm pretty safe leaving it here. Hmm. All right. Let's see. That's probably a lot better for yield weight. <sighs> Just out of curiosity, will it even let me? Oh, it will. All right. So I need to make sure that I not, because I'm definitely going to need that. So I have to make sure I don't potentially store something that could be game breaking. Ugh, do I need the bellows? Now I don't know. Probably safe to keep my elementals with me. Ah, shoot. Now I'm nervous. What if I misplaced the wrong thing? Do I even... Do I need my source title? It only weighs one quark. Who cares? Mm. All right. I'm no longer overloaded. That's a load off my mind. Ah, okay. I mean, barely. I'm barely. <laughs> but at least uh, now we're going to sleep until morning. Oh, I walk like a normal person again. Thank goodness. Ah. <sighs> Hero, it is time for you to awaken. Even now, the caravan to Razir is preparing to depart. All right, let me see if I can adjust some audio levels here. Once you leave Shapir, you will be on your own. We can but give you some supplies to make your journey easier. Ugh, you're going to encumber me again, aren't you? I have prepared an extra set of clothes for you. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't changed my clothes once since I got here, and that was like two weeks ago. Ew. I am carrying more than I can handle. Ugh. All right, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to leave behind the earth, the wind elemental. Can't possibly think of why I would need it. Put the bellows away. I mean, should I try leaving some of my money? I've got 419. Uh, Look, what if I leave behind 219? I'll just bring 200 dinars with me. 200 golden dinars. And then I've got, of course, you know, just 800 centimes. <laughs> I'm no longer overloaded. That's a load off my mind. Okay, that's way better. I'll just leave behind some of my money. Now, Katas, I'm trusting you that this is going to be safe here in your keeping. So you best not uh, mess with it. All right, let's, uh, let's go.
The inn is filled with cat merchants who wish you luck upon your departure. Now, see, in the EGA version, this is merely a black screen with text. They just describe all this to you. Sorry, hold on. I gotta, uh... That cat is horn is loud in my ear. That's better. Whew. So this is just, um... Yeah, this is just text, and, uh... But yeah, I actually get to see it. That's a nice VGA update touch. As you pass through the gate of Shapir, the gate guard presents you with a new Saurus, a gift from the Sultan. Well, that's good, because my old Saurus was the Emir, uh, <laughs> and so he has to stay behind. So at least now I have a creature to ride. Ooh, and he's red. That's fun. Ahead in the desert sands awaits a mass of Saurai. <laughs> Is that the plural of Saurus? And riders being led by the Cent Caravan Master, a huge centaur who orders the caravan into motion before the sun can be seen. You ride out to join in this new adventure, pausing only to watch the sunrise. Cutscene time! Oh, there goes the centaur and the caravan. They still look awfully pixelated. I think one of the centaur's legs is made out of, like, lead or something. There I go. Off to join the caravan. Farewell, Shapir! Oh! That brigand is really tall! Like, super tall compared to everyone else. It's got to be like 30 feet tall. Oh gosh, bring an attack from all sides. This feels super serious. The caravan comes under siege from hundreds of nomadic brigands. Your small group is vastly outnumbered. The situation looks grim. Oh. Whizfizz. Now, there was a golden opportunity to have Erasmus's Razzle Dazzle, his own patented root beer, in the game. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Hmm. Hmm. As Dennis Reynolds might say, carbs wise, this will set me back, but I don't even care. Love popcorn. Hmm. All right. Sure, I didn't miss any of the action. Ah, <sighs> the brow wipe of victory. <laughs> I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like sweat. No, no, oregano. No, like victory. Yeah, victory. That's the ticket. <laughs> oh. Do so enjoy that gag. Hmm, caravan looks a little smaller. But in, like, the EGA version, when you see the caravan after the ambush, there's, like, three people left in it. It's minuscule. <laughs> it's just like, uh, after a week of traveling, you leave the caravan when it comes within sight of the city of Razir. The caravan master warns you that Razir is a dangerous place to be and bids you be wary of all you meet there. He rears up and salutes you, and you watch the caravan move onward into the desert. You ride alone to the entrance of Razir and pass through the barreled gate, which barely opens for the barred gates, barrel gates. <laughs> pass through the barred gates, which barely open for you. Ooh, it's awful gray and foreboding. Stay where you are, stranger, and you'll discover how sharp a weapon can be. So you are the one they call the Hero of Shapir. Well, understand this. We don't need no stinking heroes around here. Do I make myself clear? He's a menacing video figure here. C 
See that you obey all the rules posted around town. Rule number one, strangers must always carry their visa. Do you have your visa? Already breaking the- <laughs> just backhanded me! <laughs> Already breaking the rules, are you? Here is your visa. Don't leave town without it. Ah, oh, welcome to Razir, huh? The guards of this city look like tough, well-disciplined fighters. The paint on the sign is starting to chip, but it seems to indicate that this is the Blue Parrot Inn. All right. I probably should save now that I'm, I've made it here. Oh, what a dump. Of all the gin joints in all the world, you had to walk into this one. A hush comes over the bar as people notice you and eye you sullenly. Will you look what crawled in from the desert? He's been out in the sun so long his hair has gone yellow. Now, now, Wilmer, he is a stranger to our fair city. You wouldn't want to give the wrong opinion about the hospitality of Razir. Come here, stranger. I see you have already made the acquaintance of Kavin, our illustrious captain of the Razirian Guard. So perhaps you already have an idea of Razirian hospitality. Come here, sit down, and let us have a little chat, you and I. Stay a while, friend. <laughs> and listen. All right, all right, here we go. Here we go. It's a thief. Uh, what was it worth? A 61. 61. <sighs> I asked you to sit down. Please. Good heavens. Welcome to the Blue Parrot. I am Ferrari. Signor Ferrari, sit down, my dear sir. Relax. You are among friends here. If you don't mind me saying so, you look like a man with a mission. I like that in a man. But perhaps a word of caution. In a city such as Razir, there are many depths to the problems. Do not try to change things here too quickly. You will find that the system is not so bad once you get used to it. However, it would be very dangerous to try to alter that system. You might make enemies. Enough of such morbid thoughts, though. Perhaps we should share a drink in honor of our new friendship. Excuse me, our new relationship. Are we friends? What is our relationship, Signor Ferrari? Would you prefer a Razirian coffee or a gin sling? Ugh. If I learned anything from the first game, it's that... Don't drink exotic-sounding drinks. Dragon's breath, troll sweat, never a good idea. You'll, they'll either kill you or you'll wake up outside having been robbed. So let's just stick to the coffee. Ha ha ha! He laughs. Look at that. A prudent, a most prudent decision upon your part. Wilmer, the coffee. Oh God, it's like spilling everywhere. It looks like water. What did he bring me? Let us drink to our fortunate meeting. You drink the bitter, thick liquid. Ugh, coffee really is the worst. It has an odd, almost chemical taste. Ah, oh, crap. What did he put in my drink? You feel strange for a few seconds, but the feeling passes. Ferrari starts to ask you some very probing questions, but you evade most of them. You are a very closed-mouthed individual. You handle your drink very well. It was coffee! I, mostly, probably. I trust you will handle yourself in Razir as well. We will reserve a room here for you tonight. You will need to return here before dark, for it is forbidden to be out at night. Join me this evening, and we will talk some more. I have some information which may prove useful to you. I will see you later. I have some thinking to do now. Straighten out your jacket, retie your boots. You place your thumb upon your nose, the hand perpendicular, the face, wiggle the fingers. Ah, when I first saw you, I said to myself, there is a man who knows how to play the game. I appreciate that in a man. If I didn't know how to play the game, I wouldn't have made it this far. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Know this, though. I am the Thieves' Guild here. Do not even think of using your skills around here without consulting me first. Okay, enough already. This is quite the welcome to, uh, quite the welcome to Razir. It's an unpleasant place. We sell water for 50 centimes, Razirian coffee for 75, and a gin sling for one dinar. 
Where else can you get water in this city? The water man only comes once a week. The emir's man sells a week's worth of water for 10 dinars. Oh, that's criminal. And Shapir, it literally just springs out of a fountain in the center of town. Three mostly full water skins. Okay, good. I got through the desert with mostly full water skins. Now let me, uh, what do you want? I'll have a water. You get a small glass of tepid, stale tasting water. It is very dull, but it does quench the thirst. Good. Oh, gosh. It is an ex parrot. It had one too many, that is to say, one Jin Sling. Actually, it's just pining for the fjords. Ridiculous. I assume that my magic map does not work here. While Razir and Shapir are supposed to be twin cities, a large part of the city appears to be blocked off. At least you can use the map to see where you are. Oh, okay, that's actually super useful. Because I do remember that from the from before. There's uh, only, like, so much of the city that's accessible. Uh, all right. Ugh, jeez. You must carry your visa at all times. Oh, that's right, the streets all have... Uh, warnings instead of street names because that's you know where do you live live on the smuggling of water is a capital crime boulevard what is it it's mid-afternoon on day um whoa what day is it 27 oh, i guess it was did say it was about a week i left on the it was more like 11 days then good heavens all right how are we doing stats wise stealth is looking good pick locks is better throwing and climbing could both be a lot better though that makes me nervous yeah <sighs> Well, nothing better to do but sneak around. My gosh, would it kill them to have a little color here? You must carry your visa at all times. You are being watched. Rules must be obeyed. Follow the system. You must carry your visa at all times. Got some useful lockpicking skill. Yeah, we're going to do some lockpicking. Going to grind this out just a teensy bit. Just because, you know, I should have been doing this all along. And then I had to basically spam it in order to get into the jewelry case. God, that mission was an absolute disaster. Glad people found it funny, though. That was an, just embarrassing. All right, am I almost to the fountain plaza? Let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. There it is. How terrible. The cracked and dry fountain is a pitiful sight. Hmm. There's no merchants. There's nothing. It's terrible. Oh, okay. Those are just completely boarded up. The alley is securely blocked by a barricade of boards. You can barely discern a side reading. The street closed by the order of Kavin. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is your title and registration for your trusty riding Saurus. It's different because I have a different Saurus. They actually changed it. That's such attention to detail. Oh my gosh, I love that. It used to be green and now it's red. <laughs> I'm like, that's such the littlest thing, but I'm so in awe right now of that. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, that just makes me happy. Oh, goodness gracious. Good heavens, what is going on here? Oh, there we go. Ugh, my phone likes to die if the battery gets below 50%. Because, you know, it's terrible. I really need to replace it, but... Wah, what you gonna do? Ah, whoa, whoa. Everything not mandatory is forbidden. Good heavens, some men are more equal than others. 
This place sounds terrible. All right, let's take a left. Good, and now let's go this way. All right. Oh, gosh. These streets have seen better days. That door is just... No one's getting in there. Got the sense that Razier kind of sucks. Oh, now where the heck am I? All right, let's take a left. Follow one of the guards. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Abandoned stalls, crates in the middle of nowhere, just... Looks like a radiator. These cases probably contained hedges long ago. The blackened ash inside of the container suggests that these hedges were burned down at some point in the past. Good heavens. A rough city, man. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Everything not mandatory is forbidden. Da, 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 da. All right, how am I how am I doing here? On what's stamina? It says, stamina is almost shot. Stealth is much higher though. Well, a little higher. Um, intelligence is kicked up, but at both agility and vitality are higher. I love that. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Soon I'm gonna have to just resort back to walking. I'm gonna be too tired to keep this up. The Plaza of the Palace. Let's take a look and compare it to the Sultan's Palace. Whoa, it looks oddly familiar. It's much kept much cleaner than all the others. The doors are massive. The plaza in front of the palace gate is kept much cleaner than all the others. Okay. What if I can say hi to these guys? Nobody seems to be listening. Interference with a guard and his duties is a punishable offense. Yikes. I won't ask for directions. Oh. oh my gosh, my legs. I really needed to stretch more. So I rode today uh, to... There's this really wonderful uh, trail that runs along the Hudson River and then the Mohawk. And it... Um, just is lovely it's got great tree cover it is a phenomenal trail okay i want to take this right rules must be obeyed follow the system and um it went for 28 miles which was awesome it was a lovely ride felt great uh but i definitely need to stretch more because i am super 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 stiff <laughs> I can tell that uh, if I sit here for too much longer, I'm not going to be able to get out of this chair, maybe ever again. Useful lock picking, useful lock picking, useful lock picking. I pick the lock and it's useful. Go, 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 go. Couple signs, couple doors. Continuing my way back to the blue parrot.
The rules must be obeyed. Follow the system. All right, so far, Razir kind of sucks. Not much to do, nobody to talk to. Just one weird old guy who gave me like a roofy coffee and tried to ask me about my life. Keep going that way. Keep going that way. Oh god, if there is a corner there? Good heavens. Probably would never have seen that if I... Uh, okay, yep, good. Can do, go in the right way. <clears throat> Almost back. Almost made it back. Now, I don't know how about this version, but in the EGA version, there was this just ridiculously terrible... Um, the bedroom wouldn't unlock until nighttime. So unless you had found a way to like kill time, you couldn't just like go rest in your bed to go to sleep. You had to just kind of basically wander around until it was nighttime. Oh, come join me here, my dear sir. You are still a novelty in Razir, and I take a vested interest in all things new. It is time we discuss some things together, you and I. I wish to tell you a story, a fable that has a moral. How you choose to react to this moral is your own life. As you well know, the old emir was deposed last year, and his brother took over the palace. Razir used to be a place with very few laws and restrictions, a place where the streets were filled with people and merchants and water flowed free from the fountain. That has changed with the coming of Kavin and his master. A new order has been established. The weak have perished or fled. Only the strong who adapted remain. Those that could not adapt were destroyed. You are strong, but it remains to be seen how adaptable you are. It would be a great shame for you to wind up in Kavin's dungeons. But enough of that for now. I have someone I would like you to meet. Ugart, I would like to introduce you to Devon. I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you already. Ugart here provides an invaluable service to this community. He obtains things for others which are otherwise unobtainable. Ooh, a smuggler. For a nominal fee, of course. It seems he has some information for you. A rumor, perhaps, that may influence your actions. I will be happy to share such information for, say, five dinars. Ah, I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. It is always so good to meet new associates with which to do business. Alright, fine. What's this info you got for me? Kavin has sent the word out to his men that you are to be watched at all times. It seems that uh, someone is very interested in your actions. You should be aware that Kavin does not usually greet strangers at the gate. You were expected. Why would he take an interest? There is the little matter of a prophecy to be fulfilled, and this one may be the one. I suspected before that you were a very dangerous man to be around, Devon. It seems I am correct. Still, it will be very interesting to see how this game plays out. You may stay tonight in the first room past the door on the left. Is, is the conversation just over, or what's up? You may call me Ugart. I make my living off of rumors. This someone told Kavin to watch for you. It is interesting to see Kavin play the lackey around here. Hmm, could that someone be Adavis? Kavin is not the person in charge in Razir, although he would like to believe otherwise. About that one, I can say no more. It is said that the whisper of his name will draw his attention. I have no wish for him to notice me. Kavin likes to be the one to give the orders around here. He is not happy when he is forced to follow them. It is said that uh, someone is waiting for someone to open a door to something. I have had no desire to learn more about it. Things dealing with magic are best left alone. 
We are old friends, are we not, Ferrari? There is much profit to be made here if a man keeps his eyes open for opportunity. All right. I do what I can to help those poor unfortunate souls. Oh no, those poor unfortunates who live around here. Water is my specialty. Whoa, he just flashed me. Since the fountain has dried up, the only place to get water is from the Emir's men. The only place other than myself, that is. It is surprising how much water is worth to one who is thirsty. Hmm. How noble. I mean, what can I say? I'm a thief who steals things. Alright. Enough already. I am Ferrari. You may call me Signor Ferrari. There are no secrets in Razier, at least none I am willing to spread. The Blue Parrot is the very center for life in Razier. Everybody goes to the Blue Parrot. Ugart and I are old friends. I came to Razier a little more, a little over a year and a half ago. A man of my stature has no problem making a profit out of any situation. It is not profit that brought me here, though. I came seeking. Ah, uh, but I see that I am boring you. Enough of that subject. Mm. There is nothing about Shapir which interests me, except for what you have told me. And I didn't tell you very much, because I didn't fall for your little coffee trick. If you have no further need of me, sir, there are thirsty customers in need of my wares. And off he goes. I should like to speak with you tomorrow about the use of your skills as head of all... Is he just shouting this across the room? Good God! As head of all illegal activity in Razir, I am an influential and respected man, and I have no intention of letting an amateur jeopardize my position, if you understand my meaning. Good night for now. Ah, oh, what a dump. You slept fitfully, dreaming of rat-like monsters pulling at you. In your dream, you felt cruelly exposed, but you recovered. Senor Ferrari sends his regrets, but he had some rather disturbing news. He will talk with you this evening. I should try and make my water last, otherwise I'm going to have to end up... The hell? Why did I have to go all the way over there just to come back? What do you want? A small glass of tepid, stale-tasting water. It's very dull, but it does quench the thirst. Alright. Things are starting to happen. Not a lot yet, mind you, but things are starting to happen. Mmm, excuse me. Goodness. <laughs> Must carry my visa at all times. It is forbidden to be on the streets at night. Oh, something's happening in the plaza. You see several people gathered in the south part of the plaza. Do not interfere. Hero, you must help me. Do something. The swords of the guards press deeper into your skin. There are no heroes in this town. You of all men should know that, Ugart. I know very little. What is going on? I am innocent of any wrongdoing. If you are so innocent, then what is this? I don't know how that water bag could have gotten there. Someone must have planted it on me. Water skins under your tunic, Ugart? You know that smuggling water is a crime against the state. You also know what we do to criminals like you. No, no, please, I am innocent. I do not know how it got there. No! 
Hero, help! Don't think I can take them all on myself. This is the fate of anyone who breaks the rules of the city. Remember this and see that you not, do not suffer the same fate. Yikes. I hope you are smart enough to learn this lesson. You do not want to see the dungeons of Razir. I kind of do, though, now. I'm curious. The water spilled by Ugar. I mean, there's no way for me to collect it, right? You can't get the spilled water. I thought I'd at least try. Hmm, they went that way. The road has been closed by order of Kavin. You may not pass. Ugh. So now there's even like less, there's even fewer places I can go now. This city sucks. Alright. Oh, it's mid morning. I just have to kill the rest of the entire day. If you are truly a hero, follow me. Oh. That's an offer I can't refuse. You see an open doorway. Quickly, before the guards come. Please, you must help me. Take off your clothes. Oh, my goodness. I must leave the city before I am forced to marry Kavin. I have heard you are a hero. With your help, I can be out of the city before nightfall. I wish to disguise myself as you and leave with your visa, so please, let me exchange clothes with you. Well, how very fortunate. I actually have a set of clothes, so you don't have to take the ones I'm wearing. Yeah. Greetings, hero. I am glad you have come to my aid. You described to Zaisha how the emir was transformed into a Saurus, and that Aziza is currently taking care of him. Oh, it is so good to know my uncle. Oh, geez. Oh, I'm so... Okay, so this woman is important, and I'm just, like, telling her things. My uncle is still alive. He is such a kind and friendly man. My name is Zaisha. Daughter of Emir Ali al-Din Hassan. My father would never overthrow his brother, no matter what foul rumors you may have heard. My father is just a puppet for Adavis. I fear and hate him more than Kavin. It is he who destroyed my uncle Aris and made Razir the terrible place it now is. Adavis was once my uncle's vizier. Boy, what is that about Sierra games that, like, the weird foreign oriental wazir is, like, the problem? That was this, this, the whole shtick in King's Quest VI. There are only two passions to Adavis, complete power and complete control. He will stop at nothing to gain those. He is a brutal man. I do not like the way he looks at me. One day, he took my father and me down to the dungeons to watch the torturing of prisoners. He had the same kind of look as he watched their pain. I will not marry him. You are just a fountain of, of good information. This was a beautiful place to live a year ago. All of these changes took place because of Adavis. The palace is filled with guards, and all women must stay in the harem. All the women must stay there now, hiding their faces behind veils. Did you know it is forbidden for a man to speak to a woman unless she is his mother, daughter, or wife? It is all Adavis's doing. He must really hate women. I know how to survive in the desert. It is my home. Before Adavis took control of the city, I roamed it freely at will. The caravan is but a day's ride ahead of me. I will catch it easily. The caravan master is my friend. He taught me how to ride when I was little. Oh, all right. So then you've got a place to go. Here, take my clothes. You hand her the spare change of clothes that Shima packed for you. Thank you so very much. Hmm. 
<clears throat> now, in the older version of the game, and I assume in this one as well, there was a uh, an set of X-ray goggles you could acquire so that you could sneak a peek at Zaisha while she was changing, um, which just feels gross. So we won't be doing that. How do I look? Do you think this will fool anybody? It's so nice not to have to wear that stupid veil. You are... Uh, you're literally a carbon copy of me. Please, in order to leave the city, I need one more thing, although it will be dangerous for you. I must have your visa. Nope, that's my Thieves' Guild thing. There's my visa. Thank you ever so much. In return for your favors, I can only give you a token. Here is my mirror. You have but to show it to any woman in the palace, and she will aid you. Again, my thanks, and may fortune favor you. Farewell. Good luck, Emir's daughter. Wait until she clears the alley before you leave, Effendi. My son is Zaisha's servant. Maybe she has some information for me. I am called my son. Kavin finds great pleasure in the pain of others. Kavin will not marry Zaisha. I will kill him myself before I let him have her. Wow. I have been a servant to her... Blah, blah. I have been a servant to her since she was little, and her slave since Adavis made slaves. I will do anything for her. He has a snake's eyes and hates all women. The city has been destroyed by Kavin and Adavis. May good fortune favor you, Effendi. Farewell. All right, so we're helping out people. We managed to get the daughter of the new emir away from the captain of the guard, who apparently is a bad, bad man. If you need a place of safety in the palace sometime, the harem will welcome you for the aid you gave my mistress. I shall tie a veil from the battlements at night to guide you. Thank you greatly, Effendi hero. What can I say? Oh, I'm amazing. After an hour's rest, I feel better. I'm all rested up. Oh, geez. Time passes fast. Sunset's practically here. It is a pity about our friend Ugart, is it not? I can see you are as broken up by the affair as I am. However, it seems he asked someone the wrong questions about you. That was just a performance put on this morning for your benefit. Kavin has known about Ugart's water smuggling for a long time. A most dangerous man, Kavin. Almost as dangerous as you are. If you wish to discuss something to our mutual advantage, come sit down. Let's talk. As I have said before, there is no room for amateurs in this city. They tend to call attention to themselves, and this gives the profession a bad name. If you are as skilled as I have heard, then I might have some use for you. However, first you must prove yourself. Are you willing to do for me a small favor? I wish for you to bring me a small ornament to prove your skills. This ornament is the black figure of a bird, a falcon. A Maltese falcon? I am an admirer of birds, you see. Ha 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 ha. The place is the window on your left as you first enter the fountain plaza from here. The bird is kept in a locked cabinet in that room. If you return this to me, I will make you my right-hand man. Wilmer there just does not have quite what it takes to give me what I want. Oh. To get past the guards outside, you have only to make the sign. Those guards are well paid to ignore my friends. However, any other guard you meet will not be so discreet. If you are caught, I will know nothing of your actions, of course. Now seems like an excellent time for such a venture. Good luck, sir. And I do hope you are as skilled as I suspect.
You make the thief sign to the guards. They look down, then turn aside and ignore you. All right. All right. This is what uh, this is what we came here to do. Let's get our skills on. Boom. We're going to go steal a blackbird. Now, there was a blackbird back in Spielberg. It was in among the treasure hoard in uh, Elsa von Spielberg's room. Those intersections are great places to run into guards. Oh, so now we have to worry about making sure we're stealthy enough and that our lock picking is high enough. We should be fine. It's more of the climbing and throwing that I'm worried about. I just, I never, I didn't grind those skills out the way I should have. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just going to go perfectly still. Maybe he won't notice me. Ah, oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. There's the window. And now the rope. It's magic rope. As your eyes adjust, you find yourself in a bedroom. Someone is asleep nearby, surrounded by thin curtains. The occupant of this bedchamber must collect weapons, for there are many attached to the walls. Okay. I can see I can see the thing from here. The statue of a bird is intricately carved from some sort of dark crystal. The guard hidden by the shadows appears alert despite the late hour. The man asleep within the bed looks vaguely familiar. Okay. Screak. This room's thin carpet does little to muffle the noise made by the loose floorboards beneath it. The sleeper appears to be stirring. Perhaps you should not move until he has gone back to sleep. I'll just hold this pose, no problem. The hinges have been oiled. The lock yields to my skill. As you hold the bird in your hand for a moment, you wonder, is this the stuff dreams are made of? <laughs> you decide, nah, and put it away. All right. Back the way we came. God, that floorboard. Gotta find a way around it. Oh, God. Ow. Was that deliberate? <laughs> Why didn't I use my rope? That actually hurt. However, boom. Great stats. Great stats. Okay. Oh, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. The guards will, will kill me if they find me. Go, 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 go. Okay. Back to the blue parrot. We're going back to the blue parrot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Must carry my visa at all times. Here we go. Let's see if I can fix the camera a little bit. There we go. Back to the blue parrot. Oh, goodness. I'm so happy this shirt fits again. It's a delightful feeling. There's the guards who were paid to look the other way. Now that I'm back safe, they're just, they're busy looking something other than me. Do you have it? Do you have the bird? You give Signor Ferrari the bird. A puzzled look crosses his face, and suddenly you realize that he was referring to the Black Falcon. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> That's just a ridiculous joke. <laughs> Do you know what we have here? The sole reason I came to this desert-driven country. For 17 years I have sought the black bird. I alone knew that this bird was worth a sultan's ransom. Let me look, let me see. 
Ha ha ha! It seems the joke is upon me. This is not the real Black Falcon. Wait, it took you 17 years to find someone to break into that dude's room and steal the bird? <laughs> exactly, Devin. <laughs> what was that animation? <laughs> that was great. There were four of these made. Only one had any value. It seems that I must continue my search. If you are interested, I would not be adverse to having such a resourceful and skilled person such as yourself at my side. If you could but learn to curb those unfortunate heroic tendencies, you would make an excellent partner. Leave me now. I have a good deal of planning to do with my new fake bird. Ferrari just stares at the black bird. All right, that thief job didn't pay anything. All I did was get him his bird, but that's okay. That's okay. Yep, tighten up, cover up, cover back up. As you enter, the sounds of the bar go still. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, my dear sir. Ferrari avoids your eyes and, you, and your questions as he studiously swats flies. Uh-oh. Get my morning water. Good thing I have rations. These people don't serve food. It's very dull, but it does quench the thirst. But everyone's acting super weird, so let's uh, go ahead. Boom. Whoa! You are under arrest for breaking the law of Razir on this day, the 29th of the Serpent, Year of the Jinn. Come quietly or you will be taken by force. You briefly consider struggling with the guards, but realize that there are just too many of them. You follow the guards through the dark streets, past the gates of the palace, and into the dungeons of Razir. After being dragged to the dungeon of the palace, you were roughly searched, beaten, and questioned by the guards. They warned you that Kavin will be coming soon to personally question you, and that you won't enjoy it. The Kata is thin, and looks as if he has been recently beaten. Well, I'll say howdy doody. The Kata just stares suspiciously at you. You tell the Kata about your friendship with his cousin, Shima. My heart says that you are a friend, yet my mind fears you are a trap. Is there not some token you can show me to prove what you say? You tell the Kata about your friendship with his cousin, Shima. Ah, then you are indeed a friend in a place where we both need friends. We need to escape from this prison. Oh, I still have my pin. They took everything else, though. A pin like that can only be seen by a friend, such as its magic. You must be very trusted by my people to gain such a thing. Well, Kata friend, let us escape this very dangerous place. My name is Sharath. It means honor. Oh, Shima told me to find you. I'm glad that I knew to tell you about Shima before I knew your name. There is a concealed passageway somewhere outside this cell. I have helped others escape by passageways before, but this is the first time I have been trapped in a cell. I am not easily captured. I was captured when a former member of the underground betrayed us, and the guards found where I stayed. The resistance consists of many of the guards and townsfolk who rebel against the tyranny of the new emir. The new emir is but a fool, and the underground will soon depose him. This is exciting. Political fo foment. All right. The grandmothers of our grandmothers' grandmothers were born in this place. Kata have lived here since before there was even a city. No one can keep the Kata from their home. The Kata will come back. We are still. We are little folk, yes. Still, we can bring down the state. Woo! All right. Let's take a look-see here. We got some bars... 
You find that the guards took all your tools when they searched you. Your equipment is beyond reach. You'll need to find something else. Oh, you mean like this pin that probably has a little metal piece I can use? Remembering your advanced adventuring lessons, you set to work on the cell door lock, using the pointed end of your sapphire pin as a lock pick. I have heard from others in the underground that there is a concealed passage in the room outside this cell. All right, well, first thing we got to do is get me back my equipment. The entrance to the passageway should be here. Yes, it is here. Lend your strong shoulder to the task. Thank you. I think I do have strong shoulders. Ah, it's open passage. I have helped others escape through the secret passageways. Do not fear. I will lead you to safety through the passageways, Kata friend. Perhaps before you leave, you should pick up your equipment over there near the cell. But do not dally too long or the guards will surely come. So what? Like, there's nothing else for me to do. It's just going to make me collect my equipment before I go through the thing. Why not just have that happen automatically? <laughs> The Kata leads you through dark passages into the palace to a secret exit onto the Razier streets. Oh, it's filthy. If I understand correctly, you are he who defended Shapir from those magical elementals, and you are now here to liberate our fair city. I am impressed by your sense of honor, yet despite your previous heroics, I think you will need assistance in taking down the entire Razirian regime. I believe you should lay low for now, friend of the Kata. If you are captured again, they will surely kill you on sight. Tomorrow night, the Underground will launch an attack on the palace in an attempt to overthrow the Emir. If you can manage to stay out of Kavin's hands for one more day, one day more, do -do 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 -do, you would be a very valuable ally to us. You bid Sharaf farewell. You are right. Our chances of avoiding capture will be greater if we split up. Do not return to the Blue Parrot. Those scoundrels will not hesitate to turn you in once they hear Kavin is looking for you. Avoid the guards at all costs, as they will soon know of our escape. May we both fare well, hero friend. All right. Made it out of the dungeon. No dungeon can hold me. Let's see, do I still have all my gear? Yep. Oh, and I've got way less weight on me than I used to. Hey, those jerks took all my money! How did I not get my money back? Are they high? Oh, 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 oh I worked hard taking that money from other people. <sighs> Ignorance of the law is no excuse. That was hundreds of dinars. Oh, I'm furious. <sighs> Uh oh. You find you cannot move. The man before you has a low, pleasant voice and eyes like a snake. Devon, I am your friend. Remember your friend, Adavis. Remember my voice. Remember my face. Trust me, I am your friend. You sh try to struggle, but your body will not obey. You cannot even close your eyes, but you try to avoid his gaze. There is something about his eyes, though. I am your friend, and you trust me. Trust in my words. Trust in my eyes. Look in my eyes, and trust me. You look at his eyes, and cannot look away. They seem to glow. His words seem to whirl about your head. <clears throat> Devon, I am your friend. Obey now your friend, Adavis. Obey now my words, obey now my voice. Trust in your friend, and obey me. You find yourself relaxing. You are with a friend. His eyes are gentle, and his smile warms you. Devon, you know me. I am your friend, Adavis, who helped you escape from the dungeons of Razir. Together, we seek to aid our friend, Emir Aras. 
I was his trusted vizier, remember? You find yourself nodding at this humble, gentle man. To end the evil reign of Kavin and restore our friend to the Emir Aras, together we must go out into the desert. We must journey to the Forbidden City and recover the magic item that will break the spell upon the Emir. We need to get the statue of Iblis. Yes, you know this is something you've got to do, but you frown as you try to remember something you once heard about Iblis. You remember the statue of Iblis, don't you? It has remarkable powers, and it can break any spell it touches. We need to take the statue to Aris, our friend. Together, let us save the city of Razir. He puts his arm on your shoulders, and you smile. Here is a man of great wisdom that you have trusted and respected, and he needs your help. Well, he has got me hook, line, and sinker. Together you will save the emir. You and Adavis will get the statue of Iblis. You there. Try walking through the door now. No, no, fool. Pass through it. Oh, get out of the way. You have no idea how or why you got here, but it is nice to be able to help such a nice man. I cannot be mistaken. My translation of the prophecy must be correct. It must be you! Of all the stupid heroes in the world, I had to be cursed with you! What is wrong? How does it go? For one thousand years and a year, Iblis will be bound. I know that it has been one thousand and one years to this very day, so that must be correct. Beneath the tombstones of the city that he once did found. This is the Forbidden City, there's no doubt of that. Then comes a hero from the Northland, led unto despair. You are the only hero that I have found recently. It must be you, and I have no doubt you will despair before I am through with you. Passing through the door unopened that he will find there. The door! A cursed door! Why can you not pass through it? When the moonlight shines between the dragon's jaws, and is caught and held there by the scorpion's claws. The moon! It is not due to rise between those two constellations until tomorrow. How can I be wrong? I will not be denied! I cannot be wrong. It did not say one thousand and one years and a day. No! But how can the moon be where it cannot be? You! You're the hero! Answer me how the moon can be between the dragon and scorpion. Well, there's the moon. The pale moon provides the only illumination for this eerie tableau. Ooh, good use of tableau. The door to the Forbidden City is sealed, as it has been for centuries. Well, if you're trying to get the moonlight somewhere, gots to use a mirror. You whip the mirror out of your pocket and carefully direct the reflected moonlight between the constellations. At last! Now, how does the rest of the prophecy go? And at last the hero, he who waits behind, shall see, while Iblis rises by the dark one and the light shall flee. By the name of Suleiman, so shall this be. Need you Now you know all you need to know. Go in there and bring me the statue of Iblis. What a nice man. I'm so glad I'm helping him. Ooh, that is dark. For a few moments, your mind is overwhelmed by the squalling, whirling wind. Then the euphoric feeling starts to fade, and you stand alone in the darkness. The past few hours are hazy in your memory. You remember only one thing clearly. You are here to find the statue of Iblis. Okay, for, well, first things first, this is too dark. I can't see a thing. Good thing I have a magic fire elemental in a lamp. On the other side of the stalactites and stalagmites, you see the darkness of a very deep chasm. Good thing you have this lamp to light your way. Okay, yeah, let's not die. No falling off of things, please.
Hmm. The old logs and other debris from above. The rushing water carries them deep into the caverns far below. Try jumping from the mossy bank by the falls. Ha ha! I did it! Great volumes of air are being sucked into this small hole. Careful examination of the air hole in the rocks above reveals that there are some loose stones that hold the structure together. There are small fissures running between its base and the rocks above. Can I knock it down with a dagger? It is not a good place to practice your throwing. I wasn't trying to practice my throwing. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Your foot slips due to the force of the air rushing through that small opening. There is tremendous pressure from all the wind trying to surge into the hole, and you struggle to overcome it. Woo. Phew, that was close. All right, we got we to gotta plug that up. What about some thieves' tools? The wind no longer blows as fiercely as before. Yay! Hmm. A challenge of water, a challenge of wind, earth and fire, maybe? I mean, you know, the Suleiman did... Uh, not Suleiman, good heavens. Omar, the poet, did mention the four challenges, and even though the elementals matched up with the poem, no reason to think the prophecy wouldn't apply here either. Hmm. All right. I see light over here. Good thing I got this lamp. Whoa! Don't need the lamp anymore. The heat in this room is painful. You feel the sweat pour down from you and hear it sizzle on the ground below. There is the distinct odor of brimstone around you. You pour some water over your clothes and feel a little relief from the heat. Wouldn't that actually make it, like, worse? Ow! Ow! Gosh! Most of the water you poured over yourself has evaporated. You are starting to get very hot. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! You stepped on something that wasn't quite solid rock and felt the heat through your boot. Ow! Ow! Gosh! I did it again! Stop stepping on lava! Oh my god, you're the worst hero in existence. Oh, actually, I need to re-water. Re Pour some water, good. Most of the water has evaporated, but that's okay, because I'm almost out. I'm almost out. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Okay, 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 what happened to me? I'm a little hurt. I'm a little hurt, not bad. Could be worse. Let's take a little... It feels good, just we need to relieve some of the aches and pains of everyday adventuring. The pill makes you thirsty, so you take out your water skin. It tastes great. All right. Whew. Here we go. Looks like there's a... Oh, gosh, it fell. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> well, that was one way down, but it hurt a lot. Oh, my gosh. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I was going to use my rope when I got to the edge. I apparently got too close. Uh, you hear a deep, echoing voice. None shall enter, none shall pass, but he who speaks the name of power. Speak now the name of power. By the name of Suleiman. You hear a sound of thunder. <laughs> hmm, it's awfully dark in here. Oh. It looks like armor of gold. Gee. Random unguarded treasure just being left around. I've seen this movie, and I know how this one ends. Proceed. Touch nothing but the lamp. We're not going to touch any of that stuff, because that is a one-way ticket to dying. A glow illuminates this chamber. It flows from an object high atop the strange structure before you. At the sight of the glowing object, you feel irresistibly drawn forward. Oh boy. 
You f- your feet seem to move with a will of their own. Oh boy. Oh gosh, here we go. As you draw near, you see that the object is a statue made of crystal. A dark, shapeless form stirs within. The crystal's cool glow is numbing. You feel compelled to pick it up, but as you reach out, you are suddenly unable to move! Fool! Some hero you are, a pawn of the very man you sought to destroy. Thanks to your help, I now have that through which I can summon the greatest destructive power ever known, Iblis himself. Do you know how long I have awaited this moment? Seventeen years! No, seventy years! <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> Ferrari's been here for seventeen years. He's been here for seventy. Seventy years I have observed the Dark Master while watching for the stars to align. Seventy years I have spent learning the magic that controls men's minds and waiting for a fool to fulfill the prophecy for me. Tonight, as the moon arises between the scorpion's claws and the dragon's teeth, I shall begin the ritual that will make me the master. I will control Iblis and thus control the world. While you, pawn of prophecy, shall remain behind in this tomb, you shall be he who waits behind. Ah, oh, some friend. Farewell, hero! Oh, goodness. And there goes the last of those. Well, don't I feel foolish. The door is blocked by tons of rocks, apparently for good. Hmm. Don't I feel foolish. He said he was my friend. <laughs> Master protects us. Throwing and climbing. Stealth. Alright, gosh. Let's see here. Ooh! Something flashes in the darkness. You pick up the ring and read the inscription He Who Waits Behind. As you put it on your finger, you twist it a bit to see its design. I may grant you three wishes, O Master of the Ring. What is your first wish? Oh, um... Hello! Hello, Master! You still have three wishes left. I've been in the ring so long, I think I forgot. You may call me Genie, though. We Jin are very great and powerful. Well, some of us are, anyway. It was rumored that the Sultan of... Ishfahan was in love with a cow, but I guess that was a long time ago. Well, I was supposed to make sure Iblis doesn't get loose, so now I guess I, ha I got to help you bring him back, as the prophecy says. Iblis was the most powerful of all jinn. A thousand years and a year ago, he created a huge city here and tried to make all men bow before him. Suleiman summoned all the jinn to his side, and with their power, turned the city into Iblis's tomb. Then Iblis himself was caught and bound, and became the statue you saw here. Suleiman ben Daud was the wisest of the wise, strongest of the strong, most mag <laughs> magicalist of the magicians. He was also very kind, and made me he who waits behind, and put me in the ring. I'm the genie of the ring. Suleiman asked for someone to stay here and guard to make sure Iblis didn't escape. I volunteered. All the other jinn laughed at me, because I'm not very good at magic. This is not reassuring, jinn. You're, 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 you're really messing with my head. But not Suleiman. He said I'd do fine, and let me be he who waits behind. I guess he was wrong, huh? Iblis is gone, and you and I are kind of stuck here, aren't we, master? You are the lord of the ring. <laughs> Nine companions. Since you put it on and twisted it, your wish is my command, as long as it helps return Iblis here. I can grant you three wishes by the power of the ring. I can get you anything you want as long as it is health, prowess, or teleportation to Iblis. I can give you the ability of ten men at any skill you want to improve upon. You have but to wish for strength or magic, intelligence or sneaking. Well, you get the idea. 
I am supposed to make sure Iblis is returned to the Forbidden City. I do have enough magic to take you with me to where Iblis has been taken, I think. Oh, gosh. All right. Let us begin the wishes. Let me double check and make sure what I want to actually... Throwing and climbing need the biggest boost. What is your wish, Master? By my power, may you have the skill of ten men! You suddenly feel much more skilled. Gee, it's so nice when my magic actually works. What is your next wish, O oh Master of the Ring? By, the, by my power, may you have the skill of ten men! You suddenly feel much more skilled. It's so nice when my magic... You have but one wish left. Choose carefully, Master. Uh, obviously, teleportation... There will be no safety for anyone until Iblis is returned, Master. We must hurry and bring him back. In the name of Suleiman bin Daud, the binder, and by my power as he who waits behind, take us to Iblis! <laughs> wow, what do you know? It worked! My magic really worked! We are now in what you call Razir. This is as close to Iblis as I could get. There are some very powerful spells coming from that palace over there. We don't have much time. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! There is a soft whisper from the alleyway. Hero friend, what magic you have at your command? The underground is prepared to attack the palace. If you need to enter there, we will provide some distraction for you. However, we are almost ready, so you must hurry before you are caught in our battle. Sharaf silently sneaks off. All right. All right. Whew. Well, even the music has gotten intense. This is, uh, this is it. It's really happening. All right. All right. Here we go. We're going to the palace. Oh. It's a scarf left by the Harim girl to show the way. Nice. Halt in the name of the law. Don't notice me. Try using the magic rope near the pillars. Guards to the gates. Oh gosh, that's so many. A swarm of five guards come storming out of the palace after you. You fight valiantly and desperately against overwhelming odds. Suddenly you and the guards turn as you hear a rumbling and crashing from inside the palace. No! Iblis is loose! Whoops. Screwed that one up. Oh, he's kind of terrifying. I guess that's what a powerful genie looks like. And there goes what was left of Razir. Okay, yes, I got it. You did your best, but it wasn't good enough. Just gonna, gonna fix that. Guess I wasn't sneaky enough. I moved deeper into the shadows to avoid being seen. Oh, that's smart. Why didn't I think of that? Like, don't walk right up the front of the, uh... Welcome, hero who aided Zaisha. Oh, it's the Harim! Oh, it's very colorful. Quickly, you must hide before the eunuch passes. There, go behind the curtain! Oh, we're doing this again? The Dark One, Adavis, can be seen from the balcony off the next room. All are forbidden to watch what he is doing. If you wish to watch him, you will need to sneak through the next room. We will try to aid you by, the distracti by distracting one of the eunuchs. Quickly, hide again. Ugh. Stop peeking, you're gonna get yourself caught. This is the one who gave his clothes to Zaisha. How handsome he is! How strong his muscles are! 
Lucky Zaisha. If I had been her, clothes would not be the only thing we exchanged in that room. If you had been her, you never would have left that room. His hair shines like sunlight, his eyes like starlight. Already you moon for him. You must go now before Abu the eunuch comes back. Wait, a guard comes. Hide quickly. <laughs> just uh, just kind of duck down behind these three. There is an uprising in the city, and the people are trying to break down the gate. You must watch out for strangers. A stranger? In here? Whatever would we do? I can think of several things. Shh. But you, Barley, you will protect us from strangers. No stranger could possibly get past you. This is, of course, true. No one can get past me. Then perhaps you should go back to your watch. We feel so safe with you out there. No stranger would dare enter. Enter what? Shh. Noir, you're naughty. Thank you for warning us. We will be very, very careful. You know I will protect you. Go before some stranger tries to sneak upon the battlements. Who could do that? There are guards below. Go before Kaveen catches you away from your post. Kaveen? Oh my. Barley the eunuch. <laughs> Hero, a car go behind the curtain. A guard comes. My god, this is never ending. <laughs> what a pretty smile. With teeth like pearl. And lips made for kissing. Stop describing me. Oh, God. And a tongue made for... Noir! Are we safe? Okay. Quickly, go to the doorway and sneak to the other room. Couldn't he stay longer? He just got here. Quiet, go now, hero, before we all get caught. <laughs> God, I am not going through that sequence again. Gotta save. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate all the kind words, but I gotta go. Farewell. Good luck. Come back soon. Perhaps later tonight? And the next night? And the next? <laughs> Such stories we could tell you. Such tales we could make. Speaking of making tales, your mind is always on that end. This is a children's game. If the means justify it. Be careful, it is very dangerous out there. May fortune favor you, and may you go before you get caught. Mwah! Oh, I blew a kiss and a smile. Go quickly, hide in the room, and I will distract Hajib at the table. Hajib, would you please come here a minute? I wish to share some words with you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What is it, young and restless one? Go, 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 go. Over there! Over there! Iblis is in the center of the ritual chamber. When the last candle is lit, Iblis will be loose. Let's go get him. Ah, hear me, O oh dark powers. Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever. It's magic rope. What am I, like, whipping it up for? Oh, gosh, this game. You glance down. You shiver for a moment, knowing that it's a long way down and there is no net. Oh. Well, the music is pretty intense. Good thing I maxed my agility skill.
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, 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 that was terrifying. Oh. Oh. Ah! Your life passes before your eyes, or is it just the other buildings? As you are about to become street pizza, let's hope you saved your game recently. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. Oh shoot, I didn't finish this part. <laughs> Farewell. Good luck, come back soon, perhaps later. Blow a kiss, come on, go, 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 go. Mwah! Love you, ladies. Distract Hajib at the table. Hajib, will you please come here? I wish to share some words with you. All right, all right, okay. Gotta hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. Oh, there goes the other guy. What is it, young and restless one? Okay. No, master. Choose your direction carefully or you will be caught. I right, gotta crawl, gotta crawl, gotta crawl, gotta crawl. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's save this again because last time. Over there. All right, all right. Why am I, like, having so much trouble balancing? Not just because it's, like, really high up and I could die, right? What is with the overcorrecting? It was not this sensitive. Ugh. And I have, like, the greatest agility in the land. Yeah, throwing and climbing are way better than they used to be. Good heavens, what on earth is happening? Let's try this like a third or fourth time. Good thing I have infinite tries, you know, because I do not remember it being this hard in the EGA version. I mean, it's not easy, but this is just ridiculous. Bizarre. I'm, I'm getting like, I feel like I'm getting less distance each time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, move. There we go. So, so I'm leaning to the right, I press lean to the left, and he just tumbles over the side. What on earth is going on? Leaky but whole. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> struggling on that one. Uh, nicely done. <laughs> oh boy. Stand still. Oh boy. Balance. Devin, you're supposed to be the best at this. You had a perfect 200 agility. Okay. 
going. Seems rather obscure. Quest for Glory 2. It's the VGA remake. And this part seems way harder than I remember the last time I did it. So, I see, what by what movements you mean. Yes, the um, you're trying to balance whichever foot goes the other direction, but the trouble is, is I seem to keep overcorrecting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh! You must have managed to escape. You must either have a lot of skill or a lot of luck. But neither will be of any use to you now. I will collect your head. After scraping it off the flagstones. To your great relief, the enchanted rope resists the blow from Kavin's uh, sword. Oh, I, you played Quest for Glory 1 through 5. All right, there you go. Good, I'm glad you... Uh, I love these games. I have been in the mood to replay them, so... I've been, uh, I never played through the... Um, second game the vga remake as a thief so this is my first time doing this one and i uh holy moly is it um hard so wait curses very well then i'll just have to deal with you up close oh no 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 master hurry he's coming after you what well, now i have now this is this is not part of the original at all <laughs> this is in no way part of the original he's he's chasing me Quest for Glory 3 is my favorite, even though I have heard many like it less. Uh, excruciating pain pierces through your leg as Kavin's sword slices right through the muscles of your calf. It's impossible to remain standing, much less keep your balance. I um, I actually really like the third one, but I, I understand why some people don't care for it in that the fighting class becomes redundant once you have the paladin, and there's just nothing for the thief to do. Like, there's, there's one extra mission, and like, that's kind of it yes the land of tarna is gorgeous i will 100 percent give you that um tarna uh, was it was very unique it had a really sort of fun feel to it and i love the paladin quest line and the mages quest line they were really unique i thought they were fun it's just not as much for the fighter to or the blah, 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 excuse me the thief to do uh, fortunately okay so <laughs> now i have to go even faster because kavin is chasing me can't I just, like, throw a dagger at him or something? Goodness, I don't remember that part being part of it at all. Ugh. Okay, let's keep going here. We're working on it. Nope, 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 nope. Keep my balance, keep my balance. Hmm. Keep balance. Keep my balance. There we go. Balance, balance. Keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, here comes Kavine. Ugh. But neither blah 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 after scraping off the flagstones. Thankfully, my enchanted rope does not cut. But now he's... Yes, hurry, Master. I get it. He's coming. He's coming. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my gosh. Any second now, the magic's gonna run out of my rope. Go, 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 go. Hurry! <laughs> Its magical power completely spent, the rope retracts again, dropping Kavin down to the ground far below you. <sighs> Careful, Master, there is some sort of spell between the pillars. It won't let any magic or anything alive get through from the outside. Even so, somehow we've got to stop the last candle from being lit. <laughs> Was that a Wilhelm scream? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Well, Kavin, that's what you get for following me out here. You could have just, like, warned out of East or something, but you had to make that difficult. No! After 70 years, no! You! Idiot! You have destroyed my spell! Now you shall be destroyed! I think you made him angry, Master! Better duck! 
missed us. Let's get him, Master. Get over to the other pillar where you can get back at that wicked old human. Is he human? I'm not convinced he's human. I mean, I played the other games. I know what he is, but still. Ah, okay, go. Better steer clear, boss. This one is big. Oh, I didn't... I, yeah, the Jin did his best to warn you. You're about to become road nachos. Does the Iblis get summoned? Adavis ended your meddling with one accurate shot. Next time, work on those reflexes, hero. Hmm. But Iblis wasn't summoned, so... You know... If I have to sacrifice myself for the good of the the land. Okay, here we go. Better steer clear. This one's big. Alright, so I duck. It's amazing that he can't, like, hit me from a foot away. Like, I shall destroy you! Oh, apparently... Alright, I just gotta work on timing. I just gotta work on timing. That's all. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Duck. Haha. -ha. And now we keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. He's a terrible shot. You'd think in 70 years he would have learned how to. Oh, goodness. Is that the best you can do, little man? Gonna knock you backwards. Ha ha! There he goes. No, no, master! And he screams as he falls. Yay, we did it! Thanks, genie in the ring. That only took... <laughs> that only took quite a few tries. The spell in the room has been broken. Thank you, master. Now I can take Iblis back to his tomb where he will be safe for another 1,000 years and a year. <laughs> Ah, hooray! Yes, indeed. Uh, oh, poof, he's back. I knew I would remember it. The real prophecy is... One thousand years in a year, so shall Iblis be caught in the tombstones of the city where he and I once fought. Until moonlight has been captured twixt the scorpion and drake, then comes a hero from the north and ancient powers wake. Led and followed by a dark one, guided to deceit and despair, passing through the trial by fire. Oh, hey, that's the name of the game. Trials of water, earth, and air, passing through the door unopened, barriers that yield to none. By my name of Suleiman, so shall this be done. God, it's still going. Come at last unto betrayal, and to he who waits behind, seek ye then to capture Iblis, ere he rises unconfined. Else shall come the night eternal, darkness overshadows light, unless a hero seeks the darkness and restores the wrongs to right. Bye-bye, Master. It's been fun. So long, genie in the ring. <laughs> There's that pose again. <laughs> With the help of the slave woman, my son, you found the Emir Ali hiding in his bedroom. With your urging and a few sharp remarks from Mizen, the, em the Emir swore he'd restore the city. By the first light of dawn, the Emir Ali al-Din Hassan ordered all fighting to cease and proclaimed the evil rule of Adavis and Kavin to be over, because they're both lying in a puddle next to each other on the floor. As the Emir began an incredibly dull speech, you slip away to complete your quest. Gotta use my elementals for good. You stand beside the cracked and dry fountain in Razir's plaza, of the fountain. Oh, it's a little awkward. You hold in your hands the water skin containing the water elemental that you captured so long ago in Shapir. The elemental under your command is released into the fountain. And now for the rest of time, people will drink little bits of it as it restores the fountain to life. You stare in wonder at the powerful transformation of the plaza by the magic of the water elemental. Ah, my... That could have made that last challenge a lot easier if I just had <laughs> Abdullah Du's flying carpet with me. The Sultan personally sent me to return you to his palace, hero of all Shapir. Palace of the Sultan. Thanks. I figured that one out from context. Devon, 
Thou shalt stand before the Sultan Harun al-Rashid, may he reign forever, to be judged. Will anyone speak for the stranger of the north? We shall speak for Devon. Aw, oh, my Kata friends. We are Shamin and Shima, keepers of the Kata's Tale Inn. When the Kata were driven from Razir, we journeyed to the Northland in search of a hero. We met Devon. Through his courage and skills, he restored the Baron's son and daughter and banished the wicked Baba Yaga. Who will be back? He became hero of Spielberg. He journeyed with us back to Shapir. Here he defeated the elementals of fire, air, earth, and water to save our city. He is a true hero. Hmm. Time for my intermission popcorn to come back. Who will speak for this hero of Spielberg? I shall speak for Devon. I am the Enchantress Aziza. This man, of his own free will, went into the desert and sought the plant woman Julinar. Through his kindness and compassion, he allowed Julinar to forget the pain and suffering of her past and to again face life with joy. This man also found a caged beast in the desert. Though it was wicked and most foul, Devon turned aside its wickedness and restored its humanity. We shall hope it may learn from the kindness of the hero. Aw, oh, face touch. This man is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of kindness? I shall speak for Devon. Oh, it's the lady who took my clothes. I am Zaisha, daughter of the Emir Ali al-Din Hassan. In order to escape the repression of my homeland, Razir, I asked this stranger for aid. At the risk of his own life, he helped me escape from the city. He is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of courage? <laughs> Let him have a voice that he may speak. Fortunately, I still have a couple enchantment potions with me still. You offer one of your dispel potions to the Saurus. When Adavis transformed me into a Saurus, I lost all hope of returning to my own form. Yet this man showed me his courage, kindness, and honor, and I knew that Devon would restore me. Is that why you always bailed on me in the desert whenever a <laughs> monster came along? Oh, the Sultan shall speak for Devon. Rakesh did not speak up for me, but that's because I'm a thief and I stole things. I am not paladin worthy. I am Harun al Rashid, Sultan of the land of Shapir. I am the poet Omar, teller of tales for all to hear. Plot twist! Boom! He's been with us the whole time. By the words which have been spoken, by the deeds that have been done, I proclaim this man a hero. I now call this man my son. Prince of Shapir! Spielberg can suck it! I'm now a prince. All they did was give me a lousy medal. Strike a hero pose. Alright. Lovely stats. Lovely stats. We're definitely going to import those into the next game. Ah. Congratulations. I've been completed. Glory 2. Trial by Fire. Ah, 485 out of 500. I can live with that. If you have not already done so, encourage it again with other character types. Uh, I'm already a winner! Is it deliberate to not have magic? Was my like my choice was to play deliberately to, without magic? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to do the uh, the thief playthrough all the way, so I didn't want to do any cross class. Um, I know that that a lot of people like that, and uh, and I do enjoy it. Uh, but for this playthrough, I was going to do thief all the way. Yeah, so that was uh, just elected to go pure thief route. You are already a winner. Uh, da -da -da -da. Please type a name for your export file. Ah! Devon Thief. Export. The thief has been saved as Devon Thief. Well, okay, so it didn't. <laughs> it's Devon Thigh save in the game directory you use uh, for use in Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War. Alright. Thanks for playing Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire, and congratulations again on winning. We'll see you again soon in Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War. Alright. Now, here in the. 
in the last game, in the EGA version, when the credits roll and the moon comes up, it was like, you know, Adavis will return in Quest for Glory 3, Shadows of Darkness. And you're like, wait a minute, that's not the name of the next game. Um, and uh, so it's just one of those little fun things. Like, they thought they weren't going to do a trilogy. They ended up doing four games. Um, and then they ended up adding that fifth one on at the end. Um which I know a lot of people give a hard time to, but I actually really enjoyed. Um, I appreciated it for what it was, even if it did mark a departure from a lot of the other sort of series. It was a little more um, action gamey than than sort of the RPG, um, uh, the sort of adventure point and click feel of the others. But you know, uh, despite it being early 3D, it actually holds up pretty well. Um, I think, and it, uh, and I love it for just the delicious fan service because it's loaded with uh, callbacks to the other games, and it has lots of people, like so, um, characters you've met along the way. So I, I really like the fifth one, um, but boy, is it buggy! <laughs> it's definitely bugs. All right, here we go. Is this uh, these people all worked hard on the game? Yes, yes, yes. This they did. I also, I won't lie, I love that the Coles are still making games. That makes me so happy. And that they have been streaming, um, because that's just an absolute delight. I love watching their streams. It's really great to see them, one, play games that they themselves made and sort of have to, like, remember, you know, 30 years later, like, how do we get past this again? But also just playing other point-and-click adventure games. Uh, and so as the moon moves slowly through the starry sky above the mountains in the desert of Shapir, our hero bids a fond adieu to his latest set of adventures and miserable puns. Where will the road lead next? But wait, there's more to come in the next thrilling saga of Quest for Glory by Lori and Corey. They did correct it for the VGA version. Okay, Quest for Glory 3 Wages of War. Which actually, that's, uh, oh. Oh, they even switched that! Oh, that's so cool, because in the, I forgot about that. Because in the, in the original EGA, it's a vampire, and oh, it just ended. All right, well, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> clearly we're done streaming because the game decided to quit when it was done so all right well i'm glad some of you came along and enjoyed that um i need to cut together the last couple episodes but i'll post them on youtube because uh last night's stream was kind of a disaster so i'll do some quick editing and fix that um but yes and then next up uh will be quest for glory 3 starting next week continuing as a thief so and uh i <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say it because leaky butthole, I'm glad you were here. So thanks for tagging along. And hopefully you uh, you pop back again in the future. All right. Have a lovely night, everyone.